it, it's really very, very important that our people should engage in a national dialogue. To say where were we yesterday, where are we today? Where do we want to be tomorrow? Where have we succeeded, where have we failed? What's wrong, what's right? What, what do we need to make of this South Africa? I think it's a very, very important issue. It's very, very important that we as South Africans must indeed engage in a dialogue about our country and its future. <clears throat> These allegations, without facts, but sustained over many years, are based on a stereotype. And the stereotype is African governments are generally corrupt. Therefore, this African government is corrupt. And that's all. You know, I'm saying that people shout for one and a half decades. And even when they're given the opportunity to produce facts to substantiate the allegation, they don't have them. But they will not hesitate to repeat that uh, there was corruption. Had absolutely, absolutely, absolutely no relationship with the processing of this uh, agreement for the defense procurement. Its negotiation, its conclusion, its signing, all of that. Absolutely nothing. What Shabir Sheikh was appeared in court about is something that happened afterwards. <coughs> It's not, not, not in the least connected to the defense procurement. Not in the least. <coughs> Quite why, <coughs> why some people would then say, uh-uh, this move proves that there was corruption. I, I don't know. You say, at the Judicial Commission, I said, uh, you see, if you understand the manner in which that process was handled, what you would understand is that the, um, if there was any corruption in that process, there are two institutions that would be responsible. One would be the interministerial committee which I chaired, which received reports from all of the <coughs> lower committees. Look, they received those reports, processed them, discussed them, this and that and the other, and made recommendations <coughs> to the cabinet. So I said, it's the inter-ministry committee and the cabinet that would be guilty of corruption if there was corruption. <coughs> and so please, by all means, let whoever has the information produce it. <coughs> 